Yo what's up guys, this is Alias and in this video I will show you how to make these really nice burst animations in After Effects and yeah this again is a tutorial which is part of a bigger motion graphics series and I will put a link in the description to a nice playlist with more tutorials that you can watch afterwards but yeah first of all let's start with this one of course so let's just add a new composition and give it some nice background and first of all let's activate this proportional grid setting just for a few seconds so we can just make something symmetrical so just press right click in here and let's add a new shape layer and make sure the pen tool is selected and then just place the first point a little bit wide to the center but not into the center so somewhere like here and then just hold shift to make a straight line and just go somewhere like here and yeah, that's it for the grid, we don't need this anymore. Now we have this thing. And let's change the settings of course. So open this up, go to contents, go to shape. And let's first remove the fill setting. So just delete this and open up the stroke setting. And yeah, the color is good, just something light. But we want it to be a bit bigger. So just put in something like eight or 10 in here. And also change the line cap setting to round cap like this and yeah now let's animate this line real quick so also add a trim paths effect with this add button just like this and open it up and then you can just go to the beginning and turn on the end to zero and put a keyframe in there and then just go to something like one second or a little bit less and just yeah turn this up to 100 again and now we can see this line is a bit animated, but it doesn't look like an explosion at all. So let's change it this real quick by opening up the graph editor and clicking on it again and again. So everything will be selected and then just press the, the easy ease tool right here. So we can play around with this a bit and just bring this up so it will be fast at the, at the start and then just slow down a bit. And so we get something like this. Yeah, this, this looks good. So the curve should be something like this, but you can play around with it, of course, depending on how fast you want it to explode. But let's just go with this one. Then we can close this and just go somewhere at the beginning, not right at the start, but somewhere in here, and just place another keyframe at the start setting. And again, just go to the back and put in 100 in here. So yeah, the line will vanish again, just like this. Okay, this looks good, but we want more of these, of course. So just press Ctrl D to duplicate this and R to rotate it. And yeah, we will make six of these at the end. So we have to, yeah, to make a full circle, we have to divide 360 degrees by six, which is 60. So let's just put in 60 in here. Just duplicate it again, press rotation or after rotation and just put in plus 60. So we'll get a, a similar distance. Do this again, press R to rotate and put in plus 60. Of course, you can calculate this in your head, which is faster. So let's do this. This will be 140. Duplicate this one more time, press R and 300. And yeah, now we get six of these nice things, which will be equally animated like this. And yeah, this already looks really cool. Um, but of course, we had a, a little more nice effect in here. This yeah, glitch effect or whatever you want to call it. And this one is super simple. So let's just select all these layers and pre-compose them. And make sure this setting is activated, the lower one. And yeah, as soon as we have this pre-composed, we can search for the wave warp effect, which I already typed in, and just apply it on this layer. And yeah, this looks a bit weird, but as soon as we change the wave type from sine to square, it looks really cool. So yeah, of course you can just press Ctrl D to duplicate this whole thing, and S to scale it down a bit, and just move it, and just place it on the timeline and just do this a few times to get yeah this um, yeah a few of these just like this you can then rotate them of course also 
but yeah that's it basically and thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this and yeah see you next time